verse 3 of First John 5 says, This is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. Now, some people equate loving God with keeping his commandments. They see a text like this. This is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And they say equivalent, same, identical. This is this, period. Or they'll quote John 14, 15. If you love me, Jesus says, you will keep my commandments. Only that text doesn't work so well because they're distinguished there manifestly. If you love me, that's one thing. You will keep my commandments. That's another thing. This has to happen so this can happen. This expresses that, but this isn't that merely. Which is why John, here in verse 3, adds, and his commandments are not burdensome. So loving God doesn't mean merely do the stuff. Do the stuff. Do the, don't kill, don't commit adultery, don't steal, etc. And you're loving him. You may not like him. You may not trust him. He may not be your treasure and your thrill. You're just doing the stuff. That's not what love of God is. Which is why he adds... And his commandments are not burdensome, which I take to mean, see for yourself, loving God means having a heart that doesn't find the commandments of God burdensome. See for yourself. Loving God means having a heart. How are you doing? Having a heart that does not find the command to love and all the other commands that are relevant, burdensome. Now, if the commandments aren't burdensome, what are they? Well, they're a delight. That's what the Psalms say over and over again. So I'll read you four examples. Psalm 40, verse 8. I delight to do your will, O God. Your law is within my heart. And we Christians have had the law written on our hearts. And so that's what it means to have the law written on your heart. It's not anymore oppressing you from outside on stone. It's rising up inside from your heart. So it means to have the law written on your heart. Or Psalm 19, verse 24. Your testimonies are my delight. They are my counselors. Psalm 119, verse 35. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. The path of your commandments. Psalm 119, 92. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. The opposite of experiencing the commandments of God as burdensome is to experience them as your deepest longing, your deepest delight. And that's what the new birth does. 